Okay, table saw anatomy. So uh, we have the bed here, this is the largest surface. This is what supports our material as we're passing through to make cuts, do whatever it was we needed to do. Uh, the table saw is bar none the most diverse or versatile piece of machinery that we have. Uh, raising and lowering the blade, easy to do with this wheel. You'll notice there's a little knob in the center. We just need to get this snug. We don't need to break a sweat. We don't need to get angry with this. We want to hold that into this height. That's how I do it. Uh, just to loosen, and then I can raise and lower. Now, what I want to do before I start setting this blade for a cutting height is gauge how square this blade is. If I want to make a square cut, I can do so. All the power is, oops, power is now off. Um, just like setting up a jointer, I'm going to use a square. I want to use a square on this side. There's more of the steel bed if I'm trusting or looking at my square this way. If I were to gauge squareness over here, I'm resting the square mostly on this throat plate. The throat plate is adjustable independent of the bed. And so I might get a false reading if I'm checking for square on that side. So, checking for square. I want to set the, uh, the blade of the square between these teeth. If I'm touching one of the teeth, that's going to show me a shadow. So as long as I'm touching the body of the blade in here, and that's where that's at. If for some reason it was out of square, or if I wanted to make a cut that is not 90 degrees to the bed, there's another wheel here. I can start to adjust this. You'll see this wheel moving as well. You'll also expose the gauge that the, uh, the saw has. So I'll set this up for whatever it is I need. I'll lock this again just by getting that center wheel snug. It'll hold that position. But for today, I want to get this at 90 degrees. So. And it is possible to over crank this past 90. All right. So that looks like it's 90 degrees. I'm happy with that. Now I don't have any use for the square. The next thing I want to do is create a good height for a cutting of this board. Now, I would say that this is way too tall for cutting this thickness of material. There's a lot more blade exposed that is unnecessary. I, I don't need the blade this high to simply cut through this board. So, dropping this down.